Longer summer, how'd it go? Went pretty good. Um, obviously a little longer um, than we'd like, but it was good. How banged up were you in the playoffs last year? We didn't get a chance to ask you. I mean, everyone has injuries, and you know, I think every year, you know, you've had an injury or two, and just whatever you play. You're a guy who's always had just you know a lot of success in the playoffs. I wonder was that particularly frustrating for you last year? I, I don't even remember that. Like I probably had around a point a game, right, or something. Well, you did have some points, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, it's not that bad, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> you started this camp with uh, on a line with Malkin. Did you have any input in that or any say? No say. No, you guys have to ask Sully about that. What have you seen from Zach Aston Reese so far? Yeah, you know he's a good two-way player. Uh, you know, gets the dirty areas and, uh, you know, uh, gets front of that. The other thing we wanted to ask you about late last year was you're the kind of guy who likes to be out there every single night. But that you also could probably look at the other side and say there might be a benefit to rest down the stretch. How do you balance that in your mind? I always play, so, right. you know, whenever I can play, uh, I'm going to be out there. I don't think it, you know, makes that much of a difference. Did you watch the Stanley Cup Finals last year? What were your thoughts? I, uh, you know, I, I couldn't say I tuned in, like, you know, for the full game, but, uh, you know, Washington played well. They, you know, they deserved it. They, they had a great team and a great run. Phil, were you surprised to see some of the talk about there being a problem between you and Sully? What was your side of that? You know, I, I think some people make issues that aren't there, and you know, uh, it is what it is. I know. I could probably speak for everybody. When we would write something about like maybe there's an issue with Sully or maybe the Penguins might trade Phil, we get crushed with emails and <laughs> tweets and everything from fans. And I wonder, could you sort of talk about the fan support you've gotten here? In yeah, Pittsburgh? the fans have been great to me, the, um, my years here, and you know uh, we've had some good years here. So uh, you know I love them, and you know they've always been supportive, and they're great fans here. Did you do anything fun this summer? No, same old shit, you know. <laughs> Phil, why do you think you've been such a good fit here over the past few years? And, you know, what have you learned about yourself as a player and a, and a person here in Pittsburgh? I don't know. I, I want to win, right? Uh, um, and, you know, I think I've, you know, tried to do whatever to help the team win. And, you know, we've been pretty successful in the last couple of years. And, you know, hopefully we get back to it again. What do you think of all the centers this team's added over the past year? You know, like six or seven guys are NHL guys. Yeah, you know, we got a, a deep squad here, and, you know, we're going to be competitive again this year, and, you know, hopefully we can get there again. You are the kind of guy who has, over the course of your career, popped up in trade rumors here and there every once in a while. How does that affect you mentally? I've been traded a couple of times, so it happens, you know, and you just move on, right? I, yeah, I didn't think the answer was going to yeah. be okay. <laughs> <laughs> it left you in a yeah. crumbling mess or something. Yeah. <laughs> Phil, did you see the thing where Jalen Ramsey said he could play hockey in six months? Do you have any, I, you know, any I, thoughts I on whether he could? I didn't see that, but I, I'm guessing he couldn't play. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else?